Shalom Chavim. It's been uh, quite some time since I've actually got a chance to speak to you guys. I've been traveling a bit throughout the United States, on the eastern United States, uh, mostly work-related. And uh, But while I was on the trip, an uh, interesting thing happened. Uh, my wife um, flew up to Buffalo, New York, and we took time out. We went and visit, visited Niagara Falls, and when we were there, uh, and even before we got there, actually, a particular scripture came to my mind, and actually it was because of uh, a radio broadcast that I was doing with uh, Jason and Phil. Uh, we, while, while they were speaking on there, the subject came up about uh, God will destroy those who are destroying the earth. And something struck me while we were doing the show, uh, I think that was like a week, uh, a week this past uh, Sunday ago, and uh, and I knew that the Lord was dealing with me on this, and I had to go back and research uh, what God was trying to say here. Uh, not fully sure yet where I stand on about destroying those that destroy the earth. I don't think, though, that that applies to the people that are polluting and things like that. I'm not sure. I don't really think that that's where God's coming from on that. But it also brought me to another scripture, and that is in the book of Numbers, um, in chapter 14, verse 21. Now, I'm reading from the Torah. It's a little differently translated than the uh, Christian Bible translates it. I believe the Christian Bible says, uh, the whole earth shall be filled with his glory. And, um, and, and the, the, the way it's translated in the Torah, the uh, Hamash edition here, it says here that, uh, but as I live and the glory of Hashem shall fill the entire world. Um, and uh, if we look at this in the Hebrew here, Ve'olam chayani ve'yamale kavod yahave et kol ha'atz. Kavod is the Hebrew word for the glory. Now, this was really a fascinating revelation for me in particular, and I'm just sharing this with you just, for, just briefly here, because generally in time past, you would think about the whole earth being filled with the glory of God, uh, different people have different opinions on that. Uh, one gentleman that shared his thought on it was that this is something that's f f uh, fulfilled in the millennium. Uh, another thought has been things like Niagara Falls, where we visited there, uh, would be, uh, in other words, we're seeing the glory of God throughout the earth and the great things that he does. But I realize that this is not what God is speaking about when he speaks of the kavod, kavod uh, uh, of Hashem, the glory of, of Hashem, he's literally speaking about the spirit of Almighty God. Because when the kavod came down on the temple in the desert, when Moses had the temple and the tents there, God's glory came down. The pillar of fire, the Shekinah glory came down and filled the entire temple there in, in Moses' day in the wilderness there. And so when he says the earth shall be filled with his glory, it is putting it into the future, which is showing that the earth, you are the dust of the earth, so therefore God is going to put his glory in the dust of the earth. In other words, he's going to form another Adam, and in that Adam he would put the glory of the Lord, the Shekinah would dwell inside of this one man called Moshiach, and when he come, he would be able to impart the eternal life or the chayim, the chavod, would be able to be imparted. The Holy Spirit would be able to be imparted upon the believers. And then the earth would be filled with his glory. You as an individual are filled with kavod, the glory of God, the spirit of Almighty God dwelling in you. And so it just really brought on a totally new meaning to me. So what a blessing. I hope this video blesses you as it's blessed me. And uh, uh, pray for us as well. I uh, want to thank those that have been giving also while we were gone. Uh, we have, uh, I have yet been swamped with trying to catch up with work here. But we intend to get with you, find out if there's those of you who have been looking to, to receive the books. We'd like to send those to you as well. Uh, so just please bear with me. We'll get that taken care of. Also, I'd like for you to pray uh, for us. Uh, recently, I got to speak with uh, John B. Wells. I was asked to call in on a show that he was on, and we spoke. And uh, John has showed an interest to have us on the radio uh, program Coast to Coast, uh, which would be a privilege to be able to speak there. 
and uh, as well uh, praying uh, about the, the, uh, the television show Sid Roth, uh, It's Supernatural. Uh, we've actually spoke with them as well. So be in prayer that God would uh, open this door. It's more in my desire, my heart, it is that we can reach more people to recognize the great things that God is doing in our day. Not that people don't know that, but there's a lot of revelations that God has placed in my heart that you guys know, but thousands of people are in and around the world don't know, especially with the Jewish people, the secular Jews of America that might would watch a show like this, but maybe never catch it on YouTube. And I believe that God would like to do a great things there. So pray for us on that that God will open these doors and that will bless many more hearts. God bless you till we meet again soon. Hopefully by this weekend, I'll get another chance to speak with you on some other things that God has been dealing with my heart on. God bless.